Today we're going to be taking a look at the new world famous Supreme SB Blazer. There's definitely been a lot of nostalgia from the previous pairs in 2006 and I can guarantee you there's going to be a lot of anticipation for the pairs that come out this year. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! On this channel I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys early looks like this. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. So I know this sneaker may look a little bit simple, but before we get into all the details of the shoe and the materials and the qualities and cuts, we gotta talk about the history first. So like I said earlier, back in 2006, we originally saw the Blazers drop in the white colorway, the red colorway, and the black colorway. And I'm telling you right now, I'm not that big of a fan when it comes to the Blazers in general, whether it's off-white, Supremes, or you name it, but that Supreme set with those three blazers, those might be some of the best collaboration blazers to ever release in my opinion. I vividly remember when those came out back in the day and everybody was loving them, but you know me, for some reason I'm just not a blazer type of guy, but I definitely, again, have a lot of appreciation for that shoe. So the benchmark is definitely gonna be really high when it comes to this 2022 release. So like typical fashion, we're gonna start with the bottom of the shoe and work our way up, and I'll be giving you guys all the details along the line for this release as well. Looking at the bottom of the foot, you got your classic zigzag print right here with with your blazer outsole and then going up to the midsole you got all black right here around the toe and on the back end of the foot now with the previous pair on the black pair we saw a white midsole compared to a black midsole so these are definitely a lot more murdered out when it comes to the overall color blocking now taking it to the upper this is a pretty simple shoe when it comes to the overall configuration just like your normal blazers and this has a leather material that has a diamond stitch all throughout the upper even on the toe cap around the heel area on the back end that's where you're gonna see that smoother premium leather as well and that's gonna have those Nike cutouts with the leathers right there and then the little gold metal flap right here with the Supreme branding just on there another hit that I like that they kept on here similar to the old pair was that checkerboard pattern with the black right here on the back end and then the swoosh on these in particular is gonna be in that gold to match with the gold accent here on the back end and then also on the front end on the top of the tongue right here where it says Nike SB got the gold swoosh and then Supreme just below that in gold as well now these come equipped with a pair of thick black laces and an additional pair of white laces. They also have gold tips on the edge of the white laces. And then on the inside of the insoles, if you put the two shoes together, it says Supreme and it's all red with the white text. And then it has Nike SB just below that. Another addition to the shoe right here is gonna be the plastic hang tag that says World Famous with the Supreme and the Nike branding on there. And that's gonna be pretty much it when it comes to the overall look at the sneaker. Hopefully those detailed shots give you a better idea of the shoe. And I'm telling you right now, the materials and qualities on these things are really, really nice. I also forgot to mention these have a premium sock liner that's leather as well So they did a really good job when it comes to the configuration now when it comes to the overall shape of the shoe Yes, these definitely do look a lot slimmer than your previous pair from the past But again, they're laced up dead stock So that might be a thing as well and again, you know me. I'm a tough critic, right? I'm not that big of a fan of blazers. I respect it I really do but I don't know for some reason they just never really been for me So based off of the information that I've gotten so far these are set to release at hundred and twenty dollars And these are actually not gonna be the only ones set to release they're actually going to be doing a denim pair as well and i know they did three pairs in the pack back in 2006 so they might do a third pair we saw a purple pair with the supreme on the side and i'm not sure if that's a part of it or if that was like an original sample from back in the you know a few years ago or what's going on i'm not exactly sure if they're doing three or not but as of right now i'm pretty sure they've confirmed two different colorways that are releasing at 120 bucks. And I'm pretty sure we're supposed to expect to see them release on September 8th, a part of the fall winter 22 collection of week two of Supreme Drop. That's the information that I got. Hopefully that gives you guys a nice good look at the shoe. And I know it's Supreme and some people say the brand is dying, but because of all the nostalgia from the 2006 pair, I definitely think there's gonna be a demand behind these and the other pairs. Now the resale may not be crazy going for $2,000 or anything like that, but I do see people definitely paying some type of resale for the shoe if they can't get it. Because the all black shoe with quality leather materials like this alone for 120 bucks is a good deal, even if you aren't a sneakerhead. Let me know what you feel about these down below in the comment section. I would love to hear you guys' impressions. And speaking of that, I made a poll on my Instagram to see what everybody else thinks as well. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. Basically, I asked the people a simple question. Is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? This is what they said. So as you can see right here, people are definitely rocking with the shoe. I get it, not everybody's gonna like it, but overall, there's definitely gonna be a lot of people that are going after this sneaker. So let me know again how you guys feel down below in the comment section. And if you wanna see reviews of the denim pairs or any other Supreme drops or whatever it is, stuff from the past or anything like that, drop more comments and let me know and I'll try to pull some stuff from the archive for y'all. Appreciate you as always, I'll see you in another one. All right, y'all, I'm out.
Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. What's up, everybody? My name is Thaddeus. Follow my reselling page on Instagram at Streetwear Stockroom. I did win the challenge. I got a free pair of shoes in my size. I need everybody in the comment section below to type DNA Show is the best on earth. Let DJ feel that love, man. He truly deserves it.